Today we're having a look at advanced ARCHICAD and we're particularly focusing on how to look at surfaces or, or we could call them materials, that's what they used to be called in ARCHICAD, older versions and now they're called surfaces and then inside the surfaces library we also have textures and textures are the pictures that are attached to material. So in order to create this file, I'm using the standard ARCHICAD file. Let's just have a look at something for a second. Yep, great. In order to create or see the standard ARCHICAD files, what we did is from last week, file, new, new, and if I hold down alt, new and reset. And so this is using the standard ARCHICAD 18 file. There's no editing, there's no customization that's been done here. So we can see just what it should look like on your screen if you do the same thing. We find all of our elements and attributes, options, element attributes, here. Under options, layers, lines, fills, building materials, composites, and we're going to spend a bit of time here today. The one we're going to look at right now is surfaces. Now just defining that again, a surface is a, I guess, a material if you like that we place or wrap around any of our modelled objects. When we look at our list, this is the list that's embedded in ARCHICAD, it breaks them down into zones, if you like. Mostly it's got them by alphabetical order. And when we're looking at individual pictures, what we want to see is obviously the color on the left hand side defines the base color of the material. We have a name to define the material, but then we have two little boxes. Sorry, let's go back down to timber. We've got two little boxes. We've got a vectorial hatch, which means that surface has a hatch applied to it. So let's say for instance it is timber fine polished. It's going to show us a timber board hatch and then the second little icon shows that there is a uh, texture applied. So let's click on this and see what we've got. If we've got a texture, we'll see that our sphere here, which is our quick representation of what we're going to see in this image, we've got three different engines that we can work with. We're working primarily with Cine Render, which is an extension of Cinema 4D, which is now built into ARCHICAD. We obviously have Internal Engine, OpenGL, and Cine Render, you'll see that they look different in each of these. We're wanting to create photorealistic renders, which means we're going to use the Cine Render engine, therefore we're going to use its settings when we're looking for materials and how they work. So down here we see that there's that vectorial hatching applied. We're here we see the plank floor. Now let's apply this to a surface. In version 19 we can actually drag and drop this or click it. We can't do that at the moment in ARCHICAD version 18. Let's just draw a quick wall. Now when I select this, sorry my palettes are a bit all over the place. When I select this wall and go into its settings, under model, we can apply the surfaces. Here I'm going to click, you see that they're greyed out and I can't change them. That's because they're based on the building material at the moment. I'm going to click to apply as override, which allows me to change them independently. If I press, press this link surfaces button, I can change all of them together. So we're going to go down and choose that timber pine polish. This is just a built-in surface in ARCHICAD. And we see that it's going to change in 3D. Again, my windows are too big. Sorry, I'm just having to resize this. There we go. We see that we've got the same material applied to every surface, every face, every edge of our wall. Now if I select that wall, I can unlink the surfaces and I can apply different, I'm going to use colors in this case just so we can see what we're talking about. Different surfaces, different materials, 
different colors, if you like, to different faces of the object. Now, this is an advanced ARCHICAD, so I'm probably telling you stuff that you already know. But in essence, different objects in ARCHICAD work in different ways or different tools or elements. And so when we're selecting a wall, let's get out of 3D and explain this a different way. When we're applying surfaces to a wall, we have a reference side, which depending on the wall is outside, inside. We have the opposite to reference side. And we have the edges. And so the edges on a wall are the sides, sorry, the thin sides probably, the top and the bottom. So if we go back into 3D, we see here that we've got yellow wrapping around the top and the ends. And we have blue on one side and the timber texture on the far side. Again, it's all pretty basic stuff. When we go into the surfaces, we can edit any of these materials. Now, it's not a good idea to start editing a surface that's existing because that will mean that we're changing it, obviously. What we can do is therefore find a surface that we like and we can duplicate it. So once we've got the texture we want to edit, in this case we're going to use the Timber Pine Polished, we can press New and we're going to duplicate from the library. I might just call this vertical, maybe. Now there's multiple different ways to do this, but for now that's fine. So when we see this texture applied around the sphere and also in our 3D model, we note that it is currently running horizontal. Now there's multiple ways to change this. I'm just using the horizontal and vertical just because it's an easy thing to do. If I want to pick up a setting of a material, a fast way of doing that is whether I'm in 3D or 2D, I can hold Alt and click on the surface. And then when I go back into my surfaces, <laughs> It's making me lie now because it's the reference side. It will generally uh, pick the surface that we've selected. I'm going to now choose my Timber Pine Polished Vertical. Of course, just because I've changed the name, it hasn't edited the material at all. Now, there's multiple ways of editing this, and I want to show you a very fast way of editing first. We can do this through Cine Render, and in a later video, I'll sh be showing you how to do that. But I find that Cine Render is a little bit complicated, and there's a lot of different options. And so if you're not very advanced yet, a much faster way is to change quickly to our internal engine. Now, in our internal engine, we'll, we'll see that it's got the same texture applied. It's got a size of the material, and this is also a lot simpler to understand, and it's got an orientation of the texture as well. All we're going to do here is change this orientation to 90 degrees. Now, that applies it for our preview window in the internal engine. It also changes it in our OpenGL, but it doesn't change it in our Cine Render engine because it's a different engine and any change that we make from one to the other doesn't necessarily apply. So it's very important to remember whether you're changing in internal or in Cine Render, you need to link the two back together. And how we do that is once we've made the change that we want down the bottom under Match Settings, we can say Cine Render to match from internal. So if I've made the change in internal, I'll click here. Now, what do we see? We've not only changed the orientation, but because the internal engine had more shininess or more reflection, it's made all of the changes as well. So you need to be very careful what you're changing and how you go about it, because you might end up editing the material in an undesirable way. But for now, we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to press OK. And to apply that material to this object, I'm going to select the wall, select the timber pine polished, change it to polished vertical okay and we'll see now that it will represent in our OpenGL that's the view that we're currently in and if we want to view this in the photo rendering win window which is definitely a good idea because at the end of the day that's the only way that we can do that I'm gonna zoom in just so it's filling up most of my screen document grave imaging photo render projection now we're not going to see anything if we don't have lights turned on. It's very frustrating that everything keeps hiding in my window. Creative Imaging Photo Render Settings. 
And the advantage of Cine Render is that once we have some lights on, we have a preview window. So we don't need to do a photo render to tell if it's going to work. We can see already here that it is creating a, um, a vertical material. It's obviously only a preview, so it's very fast but not very detailed. Shrink that back down a bit. And then if we want to give that a render and see if it is working, we can create a quick photo render. And there we go. Still a very small window, but we can see that our photo render here is working, but the surface material has changed. And I'll close that down. Back into the surfaces. We have quite a comprehensive list of surfaces in ARCHICAD. What you'll find though is that a lot of the, the textures, so again surfaces is the, the dialogue if you like in ARCHICAD, a texture is a material or in this case a JPEG generally that's applied to a surface. They're often not very high quality and the biggest tr change that we're going to make when we start to create our own textures is to import additional surfaces or materials from external sources. That could be a, a photo that we've taken, it could be downloading a texture from the internet, all that we need to be careful of when we do that is licensing and the ability for a texture to tile. Now in the next video we're going to have a look at surfaces materials and how we create them and what that means for creating good consistent surfaces or materials or textures in ARCHICAD.